I'm gonna share with you the seven principles of healthy people. These principles is what makes the 1% of Americans with visible abs. I have used these same principles to transform my body and health in just under six months and do the exact same for all of my clients. And the other principles is what I have personally learned by rubbing shoulders with some of the most disciplined, in shape, and healthiest people in the entire world. In a world where health is on a decline, obesity is at its highest. This video is a must watch for anyone. So without further ado, these are the seven principles of healthy people. The first principle that all healthy people share is that they are not afraid of being the outcast. And as funny as that may sound, because you may be thinking, oh, well, aren't like overweight and obese people the outcast? That's actually not the case anymore. Sure, it used to be in the 80s and 90s, but now healthy people, fit people, people with abs are the ones that are the minority. And you'll actually see this a lot if you're starting out on your fitness journey. Whether you're starting to meal prep for the first time or maybe you're going to the gym more consistently, you've probably noticed that maybe your immediate family or the people closest to you are like, dude, like what are you doing? You're doing way too much. Like it's not that serious just live a little, and you're constantly being judged and criticized just because you wanna lead a healthier life. And I think that's insane, right? Because it's like, you guys are eating junk food, you guys are skipping out in the gym, and I don't say anything, yet as soon as I wanna change my life for the better, it's an issue, it doesn't make any sense. And so a lot of fit and healthy people are gonna deal with other people not really understanding their lifestyle and their choices. It's funny because whenever I work with my clients, they always tell me that they face a lot of judgment from their immediate family, especially those that are in their household. They don't really understand, okay, Okay, why are you weighing out your food? Why are you tracking it? Like, why are you being so diligent about this? And it's almost like as if fat or overweight or obese people or even just unhealthy people, they think that you're calling them lower or they think that you're just trying to be better than them. And that's not the case at all. You're just trying to do what's best for you. And so typically whenever unhealthier people see you trying to improve your life, what they're gonna do is project their own limitations onto you. And so in their head, they're like, okay, well, I could never be healthy. I could never track my food. I could never go to the gym five times a week. So since this other person is doing it, I'm gonna let them know that that's weird and, and that's wrong and they're doing way too much. And so you're gonna face a lot of judgment, a lot of criticism when you start out on this journey of improving your health. And so the key is, to just not give a fuck. Like, <laughs> to put it bluntly, you really just can't care, you can't give a fuck what other people have to say about how you live your life because you have to do what's best for you. You have to do what's gonna change your life. You have to do what's gonna put you in the best position possible. And so if that means cutting out toxic friends, cutting out toxic family members, then so be it. The number two principle that all healthy and fit people share is that they live for purpose and not pleasure. So this is one of the single most important concepts that I had to understand if I really wanted to change my life around and change my body. And it was that I can't always eat everything I want. Everything that I'm thinking about, all of those cravings that I have, I can't always have them. Otherwise, I'm literally gonna become obese and have health implications down the road. And so the difference between healthy people and people who just give into all their cravings and are obese is that healthy people understand that what they're doing right now, yes, it may not be as satisfying. The, the foods that they eat may not taste as good. Going to the gym may not be as easy as just laying on your couch and, and watching Netflix, but they understand that what they're doing is living for purpose. They're living so that they are strong, respected, confident, full of energy, full of discipline, full of mental focus and clarity and cognitive performance. Instead of just living for pleasure, instead of just living to spike up your dopamine and have yummy food in your mouth like you're a fucking baby. And this is what it takes if you truly care about your health and you actually wanna change your life. Like yes, you're not always gonna feel like going to the gym. You're not always gonna feel like meal prepping and eating healthy, trust me, like me, all throughout the week when I'm eating healthy and I'm eating my meal prep, sometimes I'm like, dude, I just want a fucking donut. Like sometimes I just want a crumble cookie or I want sweet tart ropes or I want chocolate chips. But I understand that if I give into all of my cravings, then I'm going to become unhealthy. And I think it's all about understanding like what are your goals? What do you want to accomplish out of life? Like. Sure, if you wanna be fat and unhealthy and you don't give a shit about your health, then go ahead and eat whatever the fuck you want. But if you're that person that's watching this and you actually wanna make a change in your life, you wanna be healthy, you wanna be fit, and you wanna inspire the people around you, then the best way to do that is by getting yourself in shape and, and doing the things that you may not necessarily feel like doing in the moment, but that you know are gonna benefit you in the long run. Now, before we get to the third principle that all healthy and fit people use, I do wanna share the Binge Breakthrough Academy. 
So this is my one-on-one -on -one coaching program where we help you stop food obsession, stop feeling like binge eating has this suffocation, this chokehold on you. And we teach you the mindset and principles that you need to stop going to food when you're stressed out, when you're bored, and we help you implement healthier coping mechanisms. That way you can finally get in the shape that you know you're meant to be in and have a body that truly represents who you are. Someone with discipline, someone with grit, someone with the characteristics of a hardworking person. We're also gonna work together to give you a personalized workout plan and meal plan to ensure that you reach all of your goals. And we have one of the strongest community aspects in the entire world with our weekly group calls. This way you can connect with other entrepreneurs and busy professionals just like yourself and understand that you're not alone in this journey. There's other people that share your same struggles and it's just good to know like, dude, I'm not alone in this and we're all getting better together. We're all hitting new PRs in the gym. We're all losing weight. We're all doing this for our families, our friends, and just so we can be in our healthiest bodies. And it's such a great feeling being a community that really pushes you. It's kind of like healthy competition in a way. So if that's something that you're interested in and you want to shortcut your way to a healthy body, click that first link in the description. We'll hop on a free consultation call and I'll see if I can genuinely even help you out. And then we'll get you in the Binge Breakthrough Academy this week. Now the third principle that separates healthy and fit people is that they are consistent. This means that they don't give up when things get hard. Okay, so everybody knows that one person that's like, okay, New Year's resolution, I'm gonna lose weight this year, I'm gonna get in my best shape, I'm gonna feel super confident, and they only end up going to the gym for a week, they only end up eating healthy for a few days, and then they're back to cheating on their diet, they're back to not even using their gym membership. And that's the last person you wanna be if you wanna see results. So one thing that's really helped me and giving people advice when it comes to staying consistent, the main reason that people fall off track with consistency, with going to the gym, with eating healthy, is because they try to do way too much at the beginning. Since people want the results so quickly, like people get very impatient. And so they're like, okay, I'm gonna go to the gym every single day. I'm gonna do hours of weightlifting, hours of cardio, and I'm gonna get 10,000 steps in every day. And then they're like, I'm only gonna eat chicken, broccoli, rice. I'm only gonna eat 1,500 calories. I'm gonna cut out all sweets, all carbs. And so when you're doing that fucking crazy ass hectic plan, of course you're gonna fall off track and not be consistent. And so this is why it's so important to work with a coach like myself or at least do your due diligence and research what are healthy, sustainable ways to get in shape. Some quick things I can give you off the top of my head are you know, not overdoing it in the gym. You wanna be maybe starting out three, four, or five times in the gym, but you don't necessarily wanna be going every single day when you're first starting out. Now when it comes to your diet and nutrition, don't cut out carbs, don't cut out fats, okay? You don't need to do some crazy keto or carnivore or intermittent fasting diet plan because all that does is it restricts certain foods from you and it makes your relationship with food unhealthy because you think that foods are bad or foods are good when food is just food. So when you're first starting out in your fitness journey, make sure you either hire a coach like myself or do your research and find a plan that's actually going to be sustainable. That way you're able to stay consistent and make this a lifestyle change and not just a quick fix. The number four principle that separates healthy and fit people is that they stick to what works for them and they're not constantly bouncing around. Okay, so like I mentioned in my last point, you see that there's all these fad diets, keto, carnivore, intermittent fasting, paleo, Mediterranean. And the reason that these become popular is because they're new in the moment. And sure, some people may see results when they do them, but they're not actually sustainable. And I can prove this because, you know, even the guy that started the carnivore diet, he even said himself like, it's not good for your health. It wasn't sustainable. I can't even do it anymore. And that came from the guy that literally popularized the carnivore diet. And so same thing with keto. It's like, why would you cut out carbs from your life? when they literally help you so much when it comes to energy, when it comes to mental performance and clarity in the gym and your day-to-day -day tasks. Like any diet that restricts or cuts out entire food groups is probably not a good diet. Guys, like I said, it's all about finding that balance. It's all about having something sustainable. That way you're able to be consistent with it. And so what healthy and fit people do is they find that sustainable plan 
that they can see themselves, okay, I can go to the gym three, four, or five times a week. I can eat healthy six days out of the week and I'm still seeing results. So that's what I'm gonna keep doing. They don't try to go 100% balls to the wall every single day because that's when you set too high of expectations and then if you fall off track, you're gonna feel terrible about yourself, you're gonna feel like shit and you're not gonna wanna continue on your fitness and health journey. So my best advice to you would be find something that actually works for you and that you can see yourself doing for life. Something that I like to tell my clients is if you cannot see yourself doing a specific diet or a specific workout plan for the rest of your life, then you really shouldn't even start it. Because guys, this is about making a lifestyle change because you wanna be healthy for life. You wanna be fit for life. You wanna be muscular for life. You don't just wanna have the body of your dreams and then lose it a month after because you couldn't sustain that. So make this a lifestyle change and not just a quick fix. The number five principle that healthy and fit people do that separates them is that they visualize their success. Now, I'm not gonna say that every fit and healthy person does this because just like every rich person or every person that is successful in sports doesn't visualize, that doesn't mean every healthy and fit person does visualize. But I will say a lot of the top entrepreneurs, the top healthy people that I know, really practice the concept of visualization and it's something that I do every single day. So I think it is so crucial for you to find a body, find a dream body that you see yourself accomplishing one day. Whether that means for you having abs or maybe if you're a woman, maybe having a flat tummy and big glutes. Maybe if you're a dude, you know, having a big chest and broad shoulders. Whatever the case, visualize that body in your mind every single day and repeat that to yourself. I am healthy, I am fit, I have a huge chest, I have broad shoulders, I have six pack abs, I have a bicep veins. Maybe if you're a woman, you know, I have a flat tummy, I have toned arms, I have big glutes. You wanna start visualizing these things and seeping them into your subconscious every single day. And what begins to happen is that since you tell yourself that and you truly start to believe it every day, you're gonna to start to do the things and executing on the tasks that are gonna get you there. So whether that's going to the gym and, and lifting weights, doing cardio, you know, eating healthy, doing your meal prep, getting eight hours of sleep, you're gonna start to do those things because you wanna become the person that you see in your head every single day. And guys, I will tell you like, visualization is the most powerful concept that you can use in your life. Like it has absolutely transformed my life. I am a strong believer in the law of attraction, the law of assumption. Like I will tell you like, this is what helped me go from binge eating every single day, fat and overweight and out of shape, to really just getting on stage, super shredded, veins everywhere, striations, and you know, even placing second in a bodybuilding competition. But imagine if when I was at my fattest self, when I was unhealthy, I was telling myself, you know, you're a piece of shit, you're a fuck up, you're a failure, you know, you're fat, you're never gonna get in shape. That negative self-talk is never gonna take you to where you wanna go. And so this is something that I try to help my clients with a lot when I see themselves talking down about themselves, or when I see themselves, you know, I literally had to talk about this with a client today because she was saying, I don't wanna set this specific goal of weight loss because what if I don't hit it? And I was like, okay, but what if you do hit it? It's all about having that positive self-talk. Like if you constantly think that you're gonna fail, then what do you think is gonna happen? Yes, you're gonna fail. But if you constantly believe that you're meant for success, you're meant to be healthy, you're meant to be wealthy, you're meant to have all of these great things in your life, then what do you think is gonna happen? Yes, you're going to have those things. So practice the concept of visualization and I promise your life will change so fast. The number six principle that healthy and fit people do is that they limit their use of alcohol and drugs. Guys, I cannot tell you how many people simply ruin their lives because they're always drinking, they're always smoking weed. Guys, you have to understand that those things are just vices. They're just poison. Okay, I probably drink maybe once or twice a year. I drink on my birthday and even then, like I didn't get blackout drunk. I had maybe three or four shots and that was it. Because when you drink, guys, all you're doing is you're putting yourself in the slower vibrational state. You're getting fucked up. You're gonna feel like shit that night. You're gonna get terrible sleep and it also affects the next day. You're not really gonna be effective in your workouts. You're not gonna feel like meal prepping. You're not gonna feel like eating healthy. You're just gonna wanna grab a burger because you don't feel like cooking. And so something that I see with all healthy people, with all successful people, is that they rarely ever, if at all, drink. Because they understand it's not even just about like the one day that affects them of getting drunk. It's also the days after. And even if you're older watching this, if you're 30 or 40, I've heard from some of these mentors, some of these successful and healthy people, 
that it affects even more days, like three, four, sometimes even five days. Like me, because I'm young, it only affects me like for the day and then the day after. But if you're a bit older, it's gonna affect you for half of the week. So you really wanna limit alcohol as much as you can if you truly care about your goals, guys. Same thing with weed, and I, and I really hope that if you're watching this, you don't do any other drugs. Obviously, you know, I know some people deal with substance abuse and addiction, so I'm not gonna judge. That's just not my expertise, so I'm not gonna touch on that. But with weed, I've seen this affect so many of my friends' lives, so many of the people that have been close to me. I've seen, them, I've seen it affect their lives. And so the best thing that I can say about this, guys, is if you are doing weed, if you're smoking alcohol, if you're doing any drug, and the reason that I feel like I can touch on this is because binge eating is just like any other addiction. The reason that you're doing these things is because you're trying to escape from your life. You're trying to deal with your emotions, you know, you're trying to deal with stress, you're trying to deal with boredom in an unhealthy way. And why? Why do people pick up drugs? Why do people pick up alcohol? Well, because it spikes up your dopamine. It gives you that pleasurable feeling in the moment. But the thing is, guys, that addiction that you're doing, that bad habit that you're doing, is harming you in the long run. It's harming your physical, and not just your physical, but your mental health. So it's very important that you ask yourself, okay, what's more important for me? Do I wanna be healthy? Do I wanna be fit? Do I wanna have the body of my dreams? Or do I just wanna feel good in the moment? Do I just wanna drink you know, till my head hurts? Do I wanna smoke until I fall asleep and get the munchies and then eat a ton of donuts? I really think it comes down to what's most important for you. What do you want out of your life? and then making that decision. And the final number seven principle that healthy and fit people share is that they deal with their emotions in a healthier way. So we touched on this in the last point a little bit, but guys, when you're stressed out, instead of seeking the junk food, instead of seeking the alcohol, instead of seeking the, the weed, the best thing that you can do for yourself is seek the stuff that is going to be hard in the moment, but it's gonna make you feel like the man after you get it done. You know, for me, whenever I'm feeling stressed out, I know if I go to the gym or if I go outside, I go on a walk or I go on a jog, I'm gonna feel 10 times better. And so even if like in the moment, I'm like, dude, I would much rather just eat a cupcake right now. Like fuck going to the gym, fuck going on a walk. I don't wanna do that. If you can just rewire your brain and ask yourself, okay, even though I don't feel like doing it, how am I gonna feel after I get that done? And nine times out of 10, the answer is gonna be like, okay, I know if I do the hard thing right now, I'm gonna feel way better and I'm not gonna want the cupcake. I'm not gonna wanna sleep in and, and watch Netflix. And this is what I see all healthy, fit and successful people do. They do the hard things, they deal with their emotions in healthier ways. Guys, if you wanna separate yourself, if you want a 1% body, you want a 1% mindset, you wanna be successful, then you're gonna to have to do things that other people aren't doing. What do most people do when they're stressed out? What do most people do when they have a hard day at work? They go to the alcohol, they go to the junk food, they eat the chips, they eat the Takis, they eat the donuts, they eat the cookies. They get home and lay on the couch all day and watch Netflix. But what do the people who are successful do? They keep working, they go to the gym, they get their steps in, they eat healthy, they meal prep even if they don't feel like it. Why? Because of what they want out of life. And so this is why I mentioned guys, it, it even goes back to the topic of visualization. It is so important for you to know exactly what you want out of life. What is the body that you want? What are the goals that you want to accomplish? And then what are the daily actions? What are the tasks that are gonna take you there to that next level? And guys, these are the seven principles that all healthy and fit people abide by. I really hope you guys found value in this video. Make sure to leave a like and leave any questions you have in the comments down below. I'll try to respond to all of them. And if you do want my one-on-one -on -one coaching inside of the Binge Breakthrough Academy, you want to stop obsessing over food and finally have a body that you love and respect and a physique that genuinely turns heads when you're walking down the street. Just like all of my clients who have changed their lives and gotten amazing results. Then click that first link in the description. We're gonna get on a consultation call. We're gonna create a personalized workout plan, a personalized meal plan, a personalized supplement protocol for you to succeed and finally lose that stubborn belly fat. I'm also gonna be teaching you inside of the academy how to stop going for food constantly when you're stressed out, when you're dealing with hardships, and what you can do instead. What are the plans that you can implement into your life that day? That way you don't go binge eating. That way you don't go obsessing over food and derailing all of your progress. If that's something you're interested in, click that first link in the description and we'll get you inside of the Binge Breakthrough Academy this week. Thank you so much for watching the video today, guys. If you want more videos just like this, click that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.